Well, brothers, I got, I got two verses for us today, tonight. First one is Proverbs 21, verse 23. And I'll be reading out of the New Living Translation. It says, watch your tongue and keep your mouth shut and you will stay out of trouble. So the Bible here is telling me to watch my tongue. Now I want to turn to James chapter 1, verse 26. If you claim to be religious, but don't control your tongue, you are fooling yourself, and your religion is worthless. So I read that this morning. I'm reading Proverbs, and I saw that, and those two, those two scriptures kind of went together. And I thought of our tongue, and I know that James says that, you know, who can control the tongue? Well, God can control the tongue, you know, and when we have the Holy Spirit inside of us, the Holy Spirit produces self-control. And here, James is telling us to control our tongues, that if we cannot control our tongues, then we're fooling ourselves and our, our religion is worthless. And, you know, I remember, I remember Daryl talking about, you know, what, what happens when you squeeze a lemon? Lemon juice comes out. And he said, what happens when we squeeze you? What comes out? You know, do curse words come out? Do lies come out? You know, and, and, and so I thought of this and, and I think in my life, you know, the Lord transformed my life. And this is one of the things that he took away immediately because I, I, used to, I, used to, I, used to, I used to curse a lot. And when the, Lord, when, the, when, the, when the Lord brought me into his marvelous light, these are one of the things that he removed from, 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 from my life was, was having, a, having a, foul, a foul mouth. And so when I read this today, it kind of reminded me of my life and how he, the Lord gave me self-control to be able to control my, my, my tongue to whenever something does happen, you know, I, 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 I just have to pause and think and, and not let something inside come out. But the more and more you feed yourself with God's word, you know, rivers of living water flow from you. So I thought of what Daryl had said. What happens when they squeeze you? Does Jesus come out? You know, when you're going through problems, what happens? What's coming out of our mouth? Jesus said in Matthew that by the abundance of our heart, our mouth speaks. So when I smash my thumb, boom, with the hammer, if a cuss word's coming out, that's what's really deep inside, right? What if a blessing comes out? And so I just thought of this. I thought it was a great reminder for all of us. You know, the tongue is uh, obviously it's a powerful thing. Who can control it? God can control it. That was one of the first Bible lessons I went under way back in 1981 was to control the tongue because my trunk needed control. I was full of cursing and I wouldn't edify one another and I would tear other people down and you think of today's, how much in the school system, the bullying that's going on with the children. There's so much bullying going on and, and now look at what's going on with all of these politicians. I wish they would control their tongues. So anyway, that's just a little side note, but we do need help in, in this because we need to be building each other up in the faith and not tearing one another down. And if they have a faith that is a little bit different than ours, then that's where we really need to be humble. Yeah, my pastor friend in Pennsylvania, the way he, the way he puts that, Ponzi, about the, the lemon, he says, um, if you, um, if I give you apple juice and you drink it and it's, and it's, and it's lemon, if it's lemon juice, you would spit it out because it's sour, basically. But he says, so when we get squeezed as a Christian, if something other than Christ comes out, wouldn't you just be like shocked because you say you're a Christian, you know, and that's where, that's where that comes from. My, my pastor friend says that in Pennsylvania, but the scripture that I, that I went, that I was going to is Matthew um, 15, 18, where it says, but the things that come out of a mouth comes from the heart. And these things makes a man unclean for out of the heart, comes evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, 
false testimony, slander. These are what makes a man unclean. But eating with unwashed hands does not make a man unclean. So, yeah, so the, the things that we, that we store in our heart, that when we are squeezed, like you said, what comes out is the true person that we really are. But if we, if, if we, if we, when we're squeezed and we just, you know, live like, you know, if we're storing up things of Christ, we just let things go. And we just, we, we see it as a, we see it so differently. And uh, we don't get mad. We don't get angry. We don't get bitter, you know? So yeah, it's the things that, that, what do, what are we putting in the heart that's, that's producing what comes out? Exactly. Exactly.